met with us. Things like started happening to him, like haunted wise as well. See if we're haunted. Bro. I know we're haunted, bro. Are you sure? I don't want more proof. <laughs> I love doing haunted stuff as long as no innocent people, you know, are hurt. Yeah, the fact that we're like affecting our friends is what needs to change tonight. Yeah. What if it's not the places that we're going to, but it's us? Because every single place that we go to, something happens. We heard that! Dude. This is the most like I've ever heard. Something's going on. It's shining a light. Maybe it's not something that's attached to you guys, but it's you yourself. We just got off the plane, and literally as we landed, Jake got a nosebleed. Like, look at. Wait. It was bad. Spread those nostrils, brother. Oh, yeah. It was you bad. Can see it there. I was holding my nose the whole time, and I think the old guy next to me thought I just thought he stank. <laughs> Jeez, like, as we freaking land in Kansas for our next series. Not a good start, but let's, let's go. Yeah, no, he's not gonna come with us. Yeah, it just sucks. It's not gonna be like the same. <sighs> so what do we do? So this is the actual first video that he's not involved in, right? Is it? Yeah, I mean, he said, I, I didn't think he was gonna quit, but he legit was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. We called him like three times. We even saw him at Elton's video and he was like, yeah, good luck in Kansas, I'm not going. <laughs> but he yeah. said it like, he was like pissed off in a way. You know what I mean? Like he wanted to go, but he just couldn't. I mean, I, I bet he wanted to go, but he's also like, wow, Sam Colby lied to me. You know, last time they promised I was going to do this, like we weren't going to do any rituals, we ended up doing rituals. We didn't do a ritual though. It was the fire fire thing that was completely different. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was like, yo, if anything crazy happens, I don't want to do it because they didn't want to do it in the first place, but you guys convinced me to. So all I'm saying is we just have to like, proved him somehow that we're not haunted and then maybe he'll like get our trust back maybe all that negativity and you know like him believing like made it worse because you know like spirits like attach to the people that believe most mm -hmm. yeah so like at the end of the day maybe we aren't haunted maybe it was just like our vibe was like too scared so now that we don't have anyone scared we can go for it yeah it was his negative energy that was you know attracting all and if the we can prove that to him and then he can just get rid of all the negative energy, then maybe Cora will come back. What if that's dangerous like for us? Because we don't have anyone telling us to stop when we're doing something stupid. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but that's what's gonna make this series interesting. Hey guys, it's Sam and Colby. And Jake Weber, because we're at his house right now. <laughs> welcome to <laughs> Welcome to the Kansas series we are back here with not quite the full gang this time it's kind of sad no unfortunately Corey didn't want to join us this time he said that uh he just he just didn't want to come whoa did you see that getting like super blurry already so today we're here to without you know the distractions or anything like that we're here to come back to the very start of everything which is jake's house <laughs> where we grew up and we grew up in we grew up in this house too side. this is mikasa <laughs> we're gonna see if we're haunted guys guys we were here at one point when we did ah. we did vine here but yeah guys it's gonna be a little bit different without Corey here we are only coming to kansas for one sole purpose and that's to be able to prove to him that we're not haunted so we can get the whole group back but he did say if this video gets 200,000 likes, then he'll come back. I don't remember what I'm saying. Uh, I think he uh, did say that. When did he say that? I thought he said 300. He did say 300. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, what do we need to do? Because we're going to get our whole group back together. This is the best time possible to prove if we're haunted or not. Well, I did some research before we left, and there are quite a few paranormal investigator groups around here. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can help. Maybe we should actually like stop putting things in our own hands, get professionals, see if they can like tell us anything. So we should go to the places that we think are haunted that we've been before, way back when. Yeah. And then see if uh, see if that's where things started. 
I'm sure, yeah, for a little shout out, a paranormal investigator would do it. Like we said, we're gonna do more research. We're gonna make sure we get with the experts to actually figure out if we're haunted or we're not. We're trying to actually figure some stuff out this time, yeah. unlike Witches Forest. We need some help this time, I feel like. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Jake, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so a couple things. First, we called the paranormal investigator and we got him for tonight. We're gonna meet him at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., right around sundown at a bridge that you went to way, way before in the past, right? Mm -hmm. What's this bridge called? Theorosa's Bridge. Theorosa is the lady that dropped her baby or threw her baby off the bridge. There was, we'll get into what? the story later. Oh God. <laughs> While we were calling this guy, we were kind of explaining our story and, and kind of saying like how we think it could be us that's haunted instead of like the places we go to. And he said something very interesting. He was like, maybe it's not something that's attached to you guys, but it's you yourself. Which, who knows what the heck that means, uh, but he it said freaked he'd us out. said he later. We probably should have got that on camera. Ugh. But it's just so weird because everything is lining up to what people have said in the past. The psychic from Stanley Hotel series said that something bad was gonna happen to you and to Corey. Mm -hmm. Corey's already gone. The, the witch in Witch's Forest literally said, like, we were dealt the death card. That's supposed to represent a new chapter after we're all anxious, all the chaos from the tower card happened too. Which, we all went crazy in Witch's Forest. Corey quit, now we're here trying to, like, get everything solved again. So is again. this, like, us going to Kansas, the new chapter? Who knows? That's something we need to find out. Oh, we gotta wait till sundown either way to go to this uh, Theorosis Bridge. Oh, and one more thing. The guy that we're talking to right now, Tim, very nice guy, is a demonologist. Study of demons. Study of demons, so. so he's our guy. <laughs> we don't know this guy, he could be super creepy. We're gonna find out. Demonology? What the frick is that? <laughs> so, do you guys wanna pass the time? Yeah, what do you have in mind? You ever heard of corn? Ow. 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 Oh. Ow. oh, my balls! Ow. Oh! I didn't think I'd get railed in the balls like that. If we keep running randomly, we're gonna hit our balls on this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ow. 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 This is so Ow. Fun. Bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Ow. Uh. Horrible idea. <laughs> I think this is it, guys. Well, here's our guy. There's our guy. Hopefully, I'm hopefully scared. we don't die. I'm scared. Hey, Tim. How you doing, Colby? Timothy. Nice to meet you, man. Hi, Jake. Jake. Nice to meet you. And Sam. Sam. Yeah. How you doing? Fantastic. So, which you? one are y'all from Kansas? All, All of, of us. us. No way. From yeah. Wichita. All from Wichita. Oh, okay. Oakland Park. Kansas City. Oakland. Overland Park up in Oh, Kansas City. is that really Kansas? What all did you learn about the Erosis Bridge in your quick cramming session? Um, a little bit. Do you, is it cool if I film you? No, that's way? fine. Okay, that's fine. cool. The main one that we saw was that she was a Native American and she had a mixed baby with a white man and I guess like she threw it out of shame over the bridge, right? So there's a lot of variations of this. Yeah. And this is your typical crybaby bridge. There's crybaby bridges all over the place. Yeah. Mm. Each one has its own lore. Yeah. This one actually has a little bit of fact. Back in the early 1800s, the maps go as far back as the early, late 1700s, there was an Indian nation in this area. Okay, and there was a settler, one of the first settlers was actually up this road. Oh, wow. And so it kind of maps out. <laughs> the, and it's a white settler, and they had a ch uh, child, by the, daughter by the name of Theorosa. From there, it gets really mucky. Uh, a lot of people did some research on it. You can only get so good on, you know, what the lore is. Obviously, there's a child. The child got lost, and now she's out looking for her child. And a lot of activity here. When it was uh, wooden, people would claim that the bridge would glow purple. Or Whoa, or different what? Views, right? Really? Supposedly, yeah. if you park your car and cr call out to her, put it in neutral, your car will move. But the biggest thing that people complain about or see is just apparitions around here, just white shadowy mists. Wow. So, and have you been here before? I came here one time, so I started paranormal investigating uh, back in the 90s when it wasn't cool. Oh, okay. Right, we were all geeks, <laughs> seriously, right? And we came out here and we started getting things, and that's how I actually got hooked on it. Growing up Roman Catholic, a priest got a hold of me and says, hey, 
Let's come work for us. So I actually belong to the Ava International Order of Exorcist. I'm a demonologist for them. What does that mean exactly? I specialize in demons. Beautiful. So when somebody believes that they have a problem with the demonic entity, they actually send me first before a priest to find out what's really going on. And if perfect, if uh, there's something there, you know, um, typically I'm endowed to be able to take care of it. There's three different types of exorcisms. I can do two of them. The one that TV shows is the major on the person, and that's rare, and only a priest can perform that. The thing that's always our problem is, no matter where we go, like it always just seems to like we catch something every time. And every like, single that time. That doesn't happen usually. You're wondering if you're haunted, right? If it's following you. Yeah. That's you know, the main that, thing. Yeah, that's a very real thing that can happen. Okay. okay. People can get haunted, uh, attachments, whatever. Have um, met many people that have had attachments to them. Sure. Sure. I get attachments as well. We were seeing shadow people in the house. Usually there's activity beforehand. Yeah. And just last night, our, you know, we have hanging pots and pans. They started going across the kitchen. So this was last reason. night that yeah. happened? Yeah. Oh my oh, God. Right. But let me ask you guys, and, and truthfully, yeah. I mean, when you get into large social environments, do you actually kind of feel crowded? Do you, do you feel like you, you feel better withdrawn from people? I, mean, I do. Yeah, we're mm. both definitely like, yeah, I usually want to go home. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel when you're around the crowds? Still like I'm alone, honestly. Okay, all right. Yeah. Disconnected? Mm -hmm. Well, good trait of somebody who's a medium or has some sort of paranormal activity is to be empathic. You're picking up on people around you. Or you can actually feel pushed away, you know, withdrawn from them. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually pick up on all of their negative energy. You know, there's psychic vampires out there. The true term, people suck. Well, yeah. they could be sucking off of you and you can actually react negatively to it. A lot of times you think something's going to happen and, and it does. Yeah. That happens way too <laughs> Every much. Every single place we go dude. to. Honestly. So you could be stuck uh, being in this uh, medium world. You know? So what, is there any hope for us? Or like, what are we supposed to do? No. Fantastic. So, <laughs> my daughter is a medium. Okay. And uh, she's actually really good. And it kind of sucks in a way because we went on this one case. Mm -hmm. And she was doing a walkthrough. And she comes around this corner and looks up the stairs to the landing. And she says, oh, somebody committed suicide here. It's like, what do you mean? He says, I see somebody hanging there from a noose and his body's vibrating. I oh. mean, who would want to see that? Yeah. You know? So it wasn't long after that we started teaching her how to shut it off, drain it out. She actually hasn't come back since that particular incident, yeah. but it wasn't that. I was it say, was, that's pretty traumatic. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it can be. What did you think about all that? Like, what, what do you think about this guy? I think he's a nice guy. He seems really cool. What, did you hear what he said? We might not be like attached with something but we could be mediums like if we go we just sense psychic energy like, yeah and or we attract that because like we just have like another sense like have you ever even thought about that i used to think about that when i was younger but i never believed in that yeah me neither and i mean i've never like seen anything with my own eyes i don't people or anything like that i don't think yeah but it's just something to think about So this is an obvious three. So it has a chip in it with a bunch of words in it. Spirits somehow get this thing to voice the words through this. Heat comes up to it or any t change. Oh, you can tell when something's around. Is it already picking something up? Yeah, it's getting, <laughs> it, sometimes it gets random words. So the first one was saw, the second one was business. Does it show up right there, the words yeah. itself? Oh, you have to give these spirits permission to come talk to you. When you're done, you have to remove that permission too. If you don't remove that permission, you know. Yeah, we have trouble saying goodbye sometimes. You don't look so sure. You're kind of looking away, inviting spirits to come talk to you. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. I'll All do right. it. All right. It's for See? science. Yes. Yes. This, this is for science. Up. Oh, it just got cold. Something just passed in front of that, making that thing cold. And it's still That's cold. I literally crossed my arms right when you said that. What? I didn't feel the exactly feel the temperature drop. It is breezing out here, but I don't know. I'll set these up on the bridge so that we can see if they get set off, and I'll set up those uh, night vision cameras. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. Let's freaking do this, guys. Finally going more expert and professional with this. Marty, I'm scared. It's a little hot down there? Yeah, it's a little warm it's down a little here, warm. buddy. Maybe it's just you. It's just so cold-hearted that it turns cold. It Maybe it's That's just the, you, It said dude. apple when you walked by. <laughs> Wait, did he say maybe it's just me? It's It's been cold ever since I've grabbed it. Why hasn't it changed yet? It's just always cold. Or it's hot, look. Here. It's warm or... <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. 
So just to catch everybody up, our buddy Tim over here is setting up oh. a bunch of different frequency Natural readers. A bunch of different frequency readers all across this bridge. And then he's also setting up two different night vision cameras for us to see if anything happens while we're gone. Yeah, so if something does happen, we'll take the footage, put it in there. If nothing does, probably not going to put it Darn in there. Darn luck. Oh my god. That's not good. It sounds like there's like a door right behind us going. Oh my god. Fantastic. Oh my god. It sounds like something in the bush. <laughs> oh man. Something just fell over there. Yeah, nothing fell. It sounded like it fell off the ledge and hit right here. Is that yeah, what you heard? Yeah, but that was, I set that down earlier. Yeah, no, this hasn't moved. And I was looking at uh, these EMF detectors because I know I had one sitting up on its side. And I guess that one's over. He's but going. Whoa, 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 what? what? Dude, there's a door behind us that keeps I opening. I swear to I God. Th I just said, I want to hear that door again. One second later. We have to check it out. We have Actually, to check it out. I swear. As soon as that hit, too. It was like crash, and then he goes over there. You ask for a door, and you get it. Wait, let's turn this back on. I really want to try to pick it out. Here. Whoa. What does that say? Dictionary mode. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh it's god. Okay. It's okay. What's that say? Highway. Highway? Yeah. It doesn't happen when we turn the camera on. Yeah, I know. It never works when we have a Wait. camera on. We need to call out for it, right? Or ask for permission. Well, how do we do that? You don't have to be so formal about it. It's just, okay. it's just say, I give permission for spirits to contact us, uh, to touch us, to <laughs> speak to us. I mean, how far do you want to go? You got to give these, just give permission. Yeah. Give it permission remember. to do anything. Revoke the permission when you're done. Yeah, absolutely. If there's anything out there, we give you permission to contact us, make yourself known and present in any way. Amateur. Marker? Marker. I heard amateur, but okay. He didn't say it as formally as him, so he's like, amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first time. So weird. A kid voice? I don't know if it was a kid. I heard. You heard that? I thought it was you. No, I didn't. No. Oh my god, for the love of god. Voice. Oh my god. It cannot focus on you, Colby, whatsoever. <laughs> I've been trying for like the last three minutes. Let's put that back on the mode and see if it goes back to Colby again. Because that was just. I don't... Called you an amateur now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? No. A yeah, dog a whimpering. Big... Or was it a baby crying? Oh! Whoa. Whoa. How did you not hear that? Now it's green, now it's base set. Put it in your hands. Dude. Dude, it's you. What's it's that you. mean? It is you. What's that mean? It's not focusing, I'm scared. It's not focusing on you, that thing's turning cold. What does that mean? Is I that, can't define it for you. Is that worse than it being red? Wow. Whoa! Oh, what was that? You ever seen that before? No. You've never seen that. Sorry. You know? <laughs> Look, Jake is fine. I'm telling you. Does that mean I'm okay? Huge. There's something with Here, take it. Wait. Take it. I don't want to. Wait, I don't what, want to touch what, that anymore. What? Here, give us a I don't know. You didn't hear it, so I'm just going to move on. Believe it is in the dark like that? It is changing. Is that a good thing? Wait, what does it say? What does it say? It says run! Run? No way! No! Look at that! I'm not sit on that It head. says run. As soon as it gets to me. Well, you better run, brother. Run. <laughs> but it's not focusing. Alright, there we go. Business. Oh, that that's means. the second time this came up, though. Business? Yeah, that's the second time it's been stated. So that seems a little more than random if it's sitting it twice. Yeah. Run your business. There you All go. All right. 
Go get the new merch, it just dropped <laughs> today. Link in bio. Blue, blue, but then he's green. Just checking. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's worth like, it. You know, worth. maybe we're demons. God. Here, Jay, you know that again. Thanks. I said that Colby shouldn't come down there because but, he's because he's wearing his new shoes. But that you wanted to go down there. But I want to go. And then we all sat here, and immediately after, it said solo. Don't wait. No, no, Jake, no. Jake. <laughs> what? It's so who is calling who's you? Who's calling you? Oh, it's my friend. You're getting some relevant stuff here. So I think that you guys should go under the bridge. You should command it. How do we command it? You just say, with all my authority, I command any spirits around here to communicate with us. Kind of like you'd be speaking to a child. Okay. Right? Okay. So all right, let's go. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be responsive. Sometimes it irritates them, you know, in, into thinking, well, who the heck are you? And give you a smack or something. Oh, sweet. This meter says climb. So I think it agrees that we need to get down there I somehow. Down there. Dude, Dude, I heard the noise again. What? Yeah, me that? too. Wait, wait, you wait, heard that? Dude. Something's going on. Shine the light. Shine the light. I can't see anything out there. I don't have a light. What do you mean? You not grow a flashlight? No, it's dead. Something's Dude, out there. Faster. Wait. Shh, 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 shh. Just concentrate. Jake, say that thing about Therosa's baby. Therosa, I have your baby. You hear that? Look at this meter. What the heck? As soon as we walk oh, up to it. Oh. The door! I'm going to turn this IR light on. And uh, at least. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what? 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 Point the camera. Dude, you do it. Oh, I can't hear this worth anything. This is the most like I've ever heard. Like the most I've ever heard on a trip with you guys. That's what I mean. Something's back there. I'm following you, Sam. No, 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 no. You came in the wrong way, bro. See, All I right. don't know where to go. Oh my God, there's gnats everywhere. Oh, Sam, can you lead the way? I'm scared. Dude, come on, you got this. Oh, snakes, not the Erosa. <laughs> I forgot Kansas has poison ivy. Hey. Guys, oh. there's big scary oh. things. There's big scary things. Oh God. I swear to God, a gnat just went oh. my Something nose. just bit my arm. God, dude, look at all these gnats around me. Oh, oh. God. They're going in my nose. Is that poison ivy? No, we're fine. I'm a boy scout, trust me. Okay, fling the branch in my face, brother. Yes. Ah, ah. Go in there. I just fell the f over. Can somebody say new shoes ruined? It's where Kurt Cobain used to go write the songs. Watch out, it gets squishy, man. Dude, look at that. God. Why would you take new shoes to a paranormal? one? Because nobody said we're gonna go under the bridge and walk the muddy part. Theorosa. Get these bugs off me, please. Theorosa, I command you to show us that you're here. We're not asking, we're demanding. Show us you're here. Oh my God. What? The door. Again? Yes. Dude, I, I honestly think that like, if we have any time, just to get closer to that sound. Rosa. Oh, I heard it. Oh my God, Colby. Yeah. What if it's not a door sound? What if it's a baby squealing? Oh, it does sound high pitched. Vierosa, if you're here right now, show us the sign. We're not here to play around. Colby got his shoes dirty for you, so we demand. Oh my God. What? <coughs> you can't hear anything because there's wind. It was that uh, the, the Dude, creek, right? That. Yeah, I heard that. that. It's coming from right there. Right here? Right there. You guys heard that, huh? Yeah, the yeah. clacking. Last time, Theorosa, I have your baby. We demand you to show us a sign. Last time, Theorosa, I have your baby. Was that it? The creek. One more time. You're not going to be able to hear anything. Let's go. While you guys were down there, this thing sounded off. So we, you left at climb. We know that, right? Yeah. All right. So who's Paul? Jake Paul. 
Is he here? Is it? The Arosa was a Jake Pauly. Basically. She was a Jake Pauly? Have you ever heard of a Jake Pauly? Uh uh. They're like a scary group of demons that haunt like the LA area. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. What's up, guys? Yeah, something like that. What's the order name again? The name of the order is the uh, Advent International Order of Exorcists. Archbishop James Cloud is the chief exorcist. So, shout out. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. again, thank you so much, dude. Oh, you bet. Yeah. You're a huge, appreciate huge help. It. Thank you. Well, thank you. Really appreciate you. I hope nothing follows you home. If it does, have that for some protection. Okay. Okay. And cool. uh, safe journeys back to LA. Cool. Yeah, well. yeah, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll be in contact. Sorry. Super plain. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. Very nice guy. What do you think this is? Oh, yeah. What, what, he gave you something? Yeah. You want to see? Uh, let's get, let's, let's, let's get back. Jake. What? 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 Do you want to just go back to your place? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's cool with me. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah let's let's head on back first. This is like I don't want to be here anymore, and there's all okay. those people there. All right. All right. So we just got back to Jake's house. Um, let's open this. Yeah. What did he give you? So he said. Just just to clarify for all the viewers, we turned our cameras off. We were like basically just like repacking up getting ready to go he went back to his car for a second then he came back with this piece of paper and he said be careful but just in case here's that use for protection watch out for each other and then whatever the hell that is what is that i don't know do you think he wrote that or that was on that paper beforehand i don't know Looks like braille. Weird, and what is this? It's just like a bunch of uh, like rocks or... Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. It must be some sort of thing for protection because he was a demonologist. Okay, well let's just carry that in the backpack and if anybody in the comments knows what the heck that means, please let us know. <laughs> he kept blaming it on us. He never said like, oh yeah, Theroza's Thur bridge is haunted. He was like, it literally only likes you and I. Yeah. And every single time we had that, it was blue. There was one point where I was just like, what's that mean? He was just like, I don't know. I've never seen that happen to anybody before. And he was talking about these, all these people he's seen that were haunted, like people being haunted, objects being haunted, not places. That's... But it didn't happen to Jake. It's warm or... This <laughs> was Jake saved. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? Why only us? But that's good though. So we got some expert Wait. opinion. What? You know how we keep, we, um, you keep the Jonas Brother cutout in your house? Yeah. And the colors of his machine. He said this, I'm hot, you're cold. You go around like, like you, you know. know. It's not <laughs> like we know Kevin Jonas, but we actually don't. <sighs> Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's why it's blue. Either way though, we did finally get professional expert help. No, dude, game. you know what this reminds me of though? What? Still the witch's forest with like the whole new chapter thing, like new beginnings, finding out like the future chaos. Like it just all ties together somehow. What is this? I don't know, uh, open it. He didn't tell you? Did you guys smell it? No. Here, just smell? sniff it. What does it smell like? It doesn't smell like anything. There's absolutely no smell. Those were for our protection, brother. What are you doing? You're just going to disrespect he's protecting Sorry. himself. Tim like that? You're just going to stick those things up your the nose? The Santa Claus, okay, yeah. Tim Allen? He obviously, he obviously gave those... Whoa, dude, 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 look behind you, look behind what you. What the f*** is that? What? Wait, 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 wait. Come outside right now. What? What the f***? What the f*** is that? What, what, what is that? Wait, here, 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 here. Come on. Jake, Jake, what? Hello? What the f what was that? Dude, it was like a light flashing right there. Dude, are you okay? Jake. Ow. Feels like I broke my toe. No, you... Actually? What? Ow. Oh, Hello? Wait, what'd you see? Sam, Sam. What'd you see? I saw, like, a flashing light, like, right here. A flashing light? Something, something flashed right in front. There's Jake. nothing f***ing here. You sure, like, your car doesn't drive by? That's what I'm trying to see. If like there's someone like 
with you, dude. What are the odds that like a light comes on like right after we were talking about? I didn't see any of that. I th are you sure it wasn't a car that just drove by? Wait, this a light just went off in the. Oh, it was this oh, light. Oh, maybe it was just that. No, maybe no, 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 no. It wasn't that. What do you mean? It came from over here, and it flashed like 20 times like a strobe light. These motion it sensor looked, lights don't it, flash at it all? It looked like we were getting raided by police or something. Yeah, I thought it was like something That wasn't that, dude. I, 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 live, I used to live here. I know what that is. There was no f***ing way. That wasn't a car. It wasn't headlights strobing by. The light was like going straight into the house, and it was strobing. Okay. Are you good to go back inside? Yeah. What, what actually happened? I didn't even see that. I just he just saw, like, he, he tripped over like this ledge and... Jeez. <laughs> Dude, every video you eat shit. Yeah, how was that possible? Are you I just okay? Have, I just have to like keep my like my big toe like elevated. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So update, this is the third time that Jake's been on the phone with Tara. Dude, he's been on his phone all day. Yeah, I don't want to. He's been constantly texting her. And every time we ask him like what he's talking about, it's He'll not, not tell us. He's like, no, it's not a big deal. Like said that I don't know. I'll talk to like. I'm gonna talk to Sam about it. I feel bad like listening to their conversation. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just I'll just ask him what the yeah. he's talking about. So we gotta decide what's next. Obviously, we came to Wichita here, at Jake's place, and got the same results. How are we gonna be more protected? I mean, we got rocks. So I was thinking about this today. Just an idea. So obviously let me know if you don't like agree or wanna do something else, but uh, we only knew of that one place from Jake, but we know like multiple in Kansas City and it's only like a three hour drive. Why don't we just go back to Kansas City tonight? Oh, so like go to his first haunted place ever and then go to like that warehouse? Like that abandoned yeah. jewelry factory? Yeah. Do you yeah. think that I'd like, I should even come to that because, you know, the dude said that I'm safe. I don't like, I don't have anything to figure out. You usually come with us on these trips, right? Like, yeah, don't you want to come? Yeah, like, we probably should stick with the group. Like, Tara's, Tara's worried. My parents, like, are worried. Is that uh, who you've been calling on that? We heard you on the phone explaining some stuff. Yeah. And just like, I mean, I haven't been to Kansas since, Christmas. It's cool with you guys. If I could just like, you know, just hang out with my friends, like just stay here a couple days while you guys go so figure it out. You don't want to go get haunted again, is what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, yeah, and I mean like, honestly, my like my toe, like it honestly hurts like pretty bad. I might hold you guys really? back a little bit. Is it bit. that bad? Like, can you walk on it? I don't want to. I don't want to like make something worse because like it, it just it hurts when I put pressure on it. So you don't want to, you don't want to come. That's what you're saying. If, if that's cool, I mean, I just, I, I just have a lot of reasons, like, not to. I mean, the only thing I will give him is that that dude said, or we've kind of figured out that it's just me and you that's haunted. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I feel like it'd be so much more important, you know, if you guys, like, took it on yourself. So you just want to show him Wichita? Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything to figure out. I guess that wasn't even his first haunting place. The, uh, the warehouse. True. I mean, like, obviously we want you to come with us. Like, you've been a part of every trip, but we can't force you to do anything. Like, if you don't want to come, you don't have to. Why are weird things happening at places that aren't even haunted? Yeah. It, you it, know? It, it, well, it freaks me out because it's, like, my own home, too. Has anything scarier even happened at your house? Never in my life, dude. See, that's where things get weird. I mean, the only thing that's happened is I thought my vacuum looked like a person, like, multiple times. But that, that happens to everyone. Yeah, that happens to literally everything. <laughs> Sam, can I talk to you outside? Just for two seconds? Yeah. Okay. First quarry. Now Jake, and Jake was out of the blue. Jake was down. We bought him a plane ticket, and now just like randomly he wants to bail out. Like, what's up with that? Whatever we just figured out there today is that we are probably the ones getting ourselves into bad stuff, and Jake is obviously not haunted. Maybe Corey was haunted because of the way that he interacts with negative energies, but we are definitely the instigators of this. Why would we take him back to our first haunting place if 
like he had nothing to do with that. Like that, that that actually does make sense. So we're just gonna like buy him a ticket home and just be like, all right, you can chill here at like your place and just fly home tomorrow. We already have him booked going home from the other airport. Maybe we can just transfer just it. Just transfer it, okay. I mean, it just sucks. Like I understand why they're upset. Like it makes sense, but like, like we, we don't like we're not forcing them to come like we bought him a ticket to kansas just for him to bail like it just like kind of pisses me off but at the same time it's are we selfish bringing our friends on like scary trips like this yeah at the same time like we're the ones putting them in danger and the fact that he did i don't know if it's a stubbing a toe or like he actually like hurt his hurt his toe like that sucks like it could have been worse if that's the only injury that we've ever done like that's pretty good because we do some dangerous stuff and I don't really want to put him through more danger if he's not even down. That original warehouse might have the best answers because that's the very first haunted place we ever went to. If we want to do that, we gotta leave like ASAP because that's like a three hour drive to Kansas City. Well, damn, dude. I mean, let's talk to him about it one more time, ask him, and if he's still in the same boat, then I guess we'll just peace. Okay, can't do anything about it, really. All right, the show must go on. Don't want to make you walk all the way to the car, but. Thank God. We'll see you when we get back to LA and we'll tell you what's up. Okay. We love you, brother. All right. All right. I'm sorry I let you guys down. Dude, no, you, you didn't did let it. us down, man. It's all good. We just, uh, good. We, we agree with you, bro. It's all good. Okay, we'll cool. see you again soon. We'll get this group back together. Okay. We'll see you at home. Okay. Yeah. Bye, man. Have fun with stuff. Brother, is that a black cat? Oh, it's not focusing. It's not focusing. Is that a black cat? What are the odds that as we're about to get in the car, a black cat comes out? Bro, it's not focusing on this cat. That's terrifying. But can you see what it is? Yes, you can see it's obviously there. Oh a my black God. cat right when we're leaving, great. Why is all this happening? What's up guys, so we are on our way out of Wichita towards Kansas City. We just were looking at some numbers. We realized that not a big percentage of you guys that watch our videos are even subscribed. So, we're gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the family. Guys, we made the content. You have to sit and watch it. We go through all this scary shit for you. The least you could do is hit us with a little subscribe. One click of a button. While you're down there though, if you want to click on the bell thing, YouTube is changing up a ton of things with their notifications. So if you don't have the bell on, you're probably not even gonna see the fact we have a video. So go do that too. Now on with the videos. Update real quick. Uh, we're on our drive, but Corey's calling. Corey? I don't know what. Yo, Corey. Yo, bro, do you got a minute? Yeah, yeah, we're just driving uh, back to Kansas. What's I up? I know. I know, bro. It got me thinking, man. <laughs> got you thinking again, Corey? Bro, I'm sad, bro. <laughs> Dude, we miss you! Y'all go on trips without me, bro. We miss you, bro. We wanted you to come on this one. That's why we invited you. What are you doing know, back in bro, LA? I've been going, I've been going crazy, bro. Like, uh, do you guys have a minute to talk? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got, we, we're on the road for the next hour. I know how, like, I was talking to you guys, and I was saying how I'm done, and like I don't, you know, want to do this stuff anymore. But like. I, you think, obviously, you guys know that like I've been doing haunted investigations and whatnot on my channel, and I've been doing a lot of haunted stuff with Elton Moore. And like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not that like I feel safer, but it's like I, I am getting like more curious, to be honest. And like, I'm kind of. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, bro. Like, I kind of, I, I wish I was there. Like, I wanted, I wanted to go to Kansas with y'all. Yo, like, we I'm wanted to go too, I'm man. I'm not doing it with you guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we, we thought, we thought that was your last one. Obviously, as you guys know, like a lot of weird stuff has been happening lately, and it's like really been pushing me away from doing this stuff, especially with you guys. I'm tired of being scared, bro. Like, I'm tired of being like, scared of, like, whatever we're trying to find, whatever we're trying to investigate. Like, I'm, I'm ready to just stop. Excuse my language, I'm ready to, you know, stop being a and figure out what we're actually in haunting, you know? Like, I want to find out what's haunting us. Who, oh, like, yeah. I, I Who are you and what happened to Corey? Yeah, like, where did, where did you take Corey? Because I've never heard you ever say this before. 
my entire life. I'm just, I've, I've really, I've really accepted that, like, it's too late. Like, whatever we've done, it's, it's attached to us. And instead of me, you know, keeping being scared of it, why not go all out and honestly try to get the best evidence that's out there? Damn! <laughs> I'm glad you're coming to this realization. I don't know where it's coming from, but dude. Yeah, that's awesome. It just doesn't feel the same without the whole group. Dude, that's so good to hear, bro. Cause I'm, I'm low key sad, bro. Bro. It's like, and I've literally just been sitting here thinking for like a minute and I'm just like, damn, it's, it's weird not going to investigate with you guys. That's what got me thinking. It's like, I wonder what you guys are gonna catch. I wonder what's gonna happen. I wonder if it's gonna oh. happen. Like, I wanna be there. Well, like, dude. I'm curious, man. Yeah, I mean, we I miss you too. Like, it feels like weird with, without having you. We're super down to have you in the group, obviously. Yeah. Like, if you wanna join back. Let's like, go big, man. I'm glad you like came to that realization. That's awesome. Bro, when you guys get, when you guys get back, let's like set something up. Like, let's let's go, let's go crazy, bro. Like, let's get, oh, Carlos, like, like, go big. Event. Okay, okay, I like this. You can't take that back now. You said it. We got you on camera, man. <laughs> You're recording. Yeah, bro. We, we had to record this, man. Cool. Well, hit me up, guys. All right. All right. Have fun in LA, bro. Hey, love you. Oh, what the. F <laughs> what happened to Corey? What happened to Corey? Did somebody possess him? Yeah, I think that is not Corey. That or, was a Corey. Or may maybe he, he drank too much in LA. <laughs> he basically just said, you know what? I'm ready. Let's take this on. Like, he totally changed. Maybe it got to him, all the comments or something like that. And he was just like, you know what? Let's go. Because he does all this other paranormal stuff anyway. He was going to do it whether or not he's on our channel or not. You know what? Like he was saying, I honestly do think he just felt left out. Me, you, and Jake were all over here just like doing our own thing. And he's probably sitting at home being like, damn, like just... It's so weird without the four of us, you know? Yeah, but what are the odds that Jake quits right after Corey's like, you know what, let's do we'll it? Get, we'll get Jake back though. Like I, I'm 100% sure we'll just like sit Jake down and be like, listen man, you'll be fine. We'll be like, we'll, we'll get Jake back. Yeah. We lose one, then we gain back another, then we lose one again. I'm like, still geez. just like mind blown that he's even just down to do crazy stuff. But like he that. didn't even just say crazy stuff. He's like, let's go big. Let's go big. That's amazing, guys! Yeah. The group will come back together later. Yeah, the group's coming back. We need to figure out what the heck is going on with us and why we're haunted. And then as soon as we can figure out how to not be haunted, let's go big. When Corey's watching this, we're proud of you, brother. We love you, man. We want you back. Yo, dude, 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 dude. What? No caller ID. No f***ing way. It's happening again. Answer Out it. of nowhere. Answer it. Okay, okay. Wait, who is this? Yo, it's Nate. Nate? Nate? Yeah. Like, like Nate Hardy? Who are you, Nate? Like, homie Nate? Yeah, wait. What the f you, Your number showed up as a no color ID. I what? thought you were some crazy person. No, I'm actually just a great <laughs> whack. <laughs> Nate, you scared the crap out of us, dude. You can't do that ever again. I heard you were back at old stomping grounds, man. Saw it on your Instagram story. Are you in Kansas right now? Yeah, no, yeah, we are in Kansas. Why? What's up? Get the hell out. I'm actually back in town City Mason right now. What? No way. Wait, you're, you're in Kansas yeah, City? The Midwest, man. Yes, dude! What are the odds? That's insane. Yo, we're, we're filming uh, a video and we're like, gonna be in Kansas for the rest of the weekend. And where are you at? Are you in Johnson County or are you in? Like, no, we're, we're actually still in Wichita, but like this weekend, we're coming up to uh, Kansas City. How long are you gonna be there? Dude, I'm gonna be here like all week. Dude! Yeah. Call me first off, saw the tattoos, bro. Love them. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Second off, um. <laughs> Dude, I think we ought to hit some of the old places we used to crash at, man. Yes, dude. Oh. We were just having a conversation that when we go up to Kansas, we want to hit the warehouse. Do you remember that? Oh, how could I forget the warehouse, man? Bro. Dude, I'm, ner I'm kind of nervous, man. I'm not like it. Like, I've been thinking about going back with base. I'm also kind of sketched out to go back. Like, I just feel like from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it was always super Weird. sketchy. That, that works out so perfectly. Oh, Dude, let's yeah. just meet up with him tomorrow, then. Yeah, right. yeah, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, whatever you're doing, man. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, cool. Good answer. Sounds good, man. Uh, well then I'll call you tomorrow. We'll get together, like, mid-afternoon. Alright, sweet. 
Dude, let's connect then. I'll see ya. Alright. Later. Peace. Dude, what are the odds? What the? Why'd it come up as a no color ID? Yeah, why, why was that a no color ID? That doesn't make or? any sense. Yeah, I literally thought he was like some ghost gonna call us like the demon and which Me is too. And he's here? I guess it makes sense because it's summer break. I didn't even think about that. Like right after Hawaii, he's yeah. coming back. He doesn't go back to school for what, another couple months? Yeah. That's, it's not no wonder he's back. You at all. It's not. I don't know why. That's terrifying. But, okay. For a second there, I thought we were gonna die, but luckily it's just Nate. Now we got something to look forward to. All we right. We can meet up, and everybody here knows who Nate is. Yeah. Right? You guys if you've know seen Nate. the old videos, like, come on. He was in all of our old Kansas abandoned videos and the abandoned Six Flags video. So maybe Kansas won't be that bad after all. Let's meet up with him tomorrow for sure. Our journey to Nate. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> So just to update you guys, all of our old friend group used to meet at this gas station called Quick Trip, so we just had Nate meet us here, and we're gonna go pick him up. I think he's right there. Yo, Nate! Nate! Hey! Yo, what's, what's up? up? Long time no see. Oh, Please don't step on your freaking foot right there. Good, Why the heck are you in Kansas, dude? That's so random. Dude, I know. I just had a couple days off work. Said that I'd come back, see the old stomping grounds, man. Plus, Mason's here. I haven't seen him in years. So. Dude, that is so random. Like, like, the day that we decide we wanted to come back, he's just here. Here? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Funky, dude. Uh, that's funky. so great. And we just saw you in Hawaii. It's, like, perfect. Yeah, it's been, like, exactly a month, too. Yeah, no, I saw y'all's uh, story on Instagram. I was like, oh, sh I got to see if they're in town, so. <laughs> that actually works out perfectly. We we came back over to this side of Kansas because we're looking about all our old buddies. First haunted places, and we're like, yeah, we should go back no to all the old places that we used to explore. Yeah. And yeah. like, you basically Have you all been did... to the barn? To the barn? Do you remember the barn with the rack? Oh, oh, oh no, yeah. that, that got torn down. That did get torn down. We, oh, no we went there like last year, and it's just completely demolished now. Dude, so sad. Not surprised. It is sad. But we did talk yesterday about the warehouse. Yeah, for sure. Are you still down sure. to go to that today? Oh, is that even a question? Yeah, do you oh, have, nice. like, anything to do? Like, are you free today? Nah, dude, I'm free agent. I got time. That's sick. Okay, yeah. We've been going through some weird stuff lately. Over the past, like, three months, every single place we go to, we end up finding some crazy experience and, like, feeling like we're haunted. Hotels, forests, like, even when we went to Hawaii, after you left, like, we... Yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, told yeah, you about yeah. that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, like, got super haunted, like, weird. When you say haunted, like... I mean, is it just these odd occurrences or is it this perpetual like feeling? No, it's just like every single place that we go to, something happens to us. And we're starting to think that it's not the places, but it's actually just us. That's no, that's what I'm saying. Cause that's, that's crazy. And what I'm wondering is like, you feel like heavier? Do you feel a presence of something or? It's just weird because uh, like we're always, we've always been skeptical ever since we, yeah. you know, yeah. back in the day. Going to these places, we'd expect, you know, hey, maybe a handful of the places would have some crazy paranormal experience, Dude. but every single time, something happens to us. It's Dude, weird. I, I, it's not to freak you out, and not that you're not a pro at being freaked out, but that's giving me chills, man. Like, yeah, yeah, for real. And I, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but like, since we parted ways in Hawaii, like, no, I'm not, I'm not messing with you, man. Like, I've, I've just had this immense, like, heavy feeling. No way. Like, like, in what way? Well, I just. So it was like that time my freshman year, I binged out. But it's that feeling. It's like it's like it's like that sense of paranoia. I, I thought it was just the post-travel kind of jet lag you feel. Yeah. And then after that, it just stayed, and there was this sustained heavy feeling. And I've been having these, gosh, gnarly, heavy dreams, and like this sense of, you know, when you say a word so many times that it stops feeling like a word. Yeah. yeah. And there's that dissonance, that cognitive dissonance there. It's yeah. like that perpetually. So you it's, keep having these crazy dreams to where it doesn't even seem real? Yeah, yeah. And they carry, like, the line between dream and reality sometimes feels like it's just fuzzy. So oh I don't know if y'all. Have you, you ever just, had you said those? that was after Hawaii, though? Yeah, no, that's just been in the past month. I thought I was losing my mind. You now, haven't had, so. like, crazy dreams like that before? Not that intense. No way. Not that intense? No. I kind of relate to that in a way. Um, Ever since I went to Stanley Hotel, I've been having these like weird dreams as well, but 
just recently, this, this past month, it's been like a lot worse. I don't know about you, Sam, but like for me, it's just like, it just feels like I'm always being watched in a way. Like even if I'm alone or even if I'm like in a crowd of people and nobody's looking at me. That paranoia. It feels like you're always, there's just always something behind you like watching. And we went and we uh, found like a paranormal investigator yesterday. I don't know if we told you this. And he gave us this device that like could tell if there was like something near you. And when Sam and I grabbed it, it lit up like blue. Like oh, there was something kidding. near us. But Jake, our friend, it was nothing. Huh. And so it like really just made us think like. It's because he's pure, dude. Yeah. He's, he's too pure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Hello? What's up? I was wondering what your channel name is again. I completely forgot it. <laughs> I, knew, I, I, I knew I noticed you from somewhere, but yeah, could I shout out? Right? His name's David Scott on YouTube. Hey, David there you Scott. go. Nice to meet you, bro. Thanks, yeah, guys. <laughs> He's gonna be the next Alex from Target, dude. Exactly. He's gonna be Nick from Quick Trip. That is crazy, but it's just the dreams, right? Nothing weird's like actually happening to you, because like something weird happens to us all the time. Yeah. So we're just, we just want to make sure you're not actually gonna be levitating and like possessed every day. Oh, my day. eyes like rolling back in yeah. my head. Just, ah, like, <laughs> Mumbling backwards in Latin. There was one thing. I'm just, uh, I don't know if I want to bring it into this, dude. And this was after Hawaii, too? Uh, yeah, this was recently. This was like last week. Well, do you think it pertains to being haunted? Or is it more just like a weird thing? It's like a weird thing, but in the, it's in the same vein of it. it feels like there's just, uh, you know how forces act through people? Mm -hmm. It feels like that, where it was just a direct line, like to that kind of domain. Alright. But you're not going to tell us, like, exactly what happened? Or maybe just give us the spark notes. Yeah. Give you the spark notes, all right. Hey, I'm glad that's catching on. I met a homie up in uh, a, a town I was living in a while ago. Everything was going well. It was the first time we'd really actually had a conversation. We were acquaintances prior. And um, basically sat me down and, and told me he used to work corporate for like 10 years until one day he got uh, he got kicked out. I asked, you know, why, what was that like? And he said, well, I had an epiphany. And I said, well, <laughs> you, you know, you're gonna have to tell me about that now. And he essentially said, I died for 30 minutes. I was thinking, oh Lord, okay, this isn't something you Jeez. just, you don't just drop, I died for 30 minutes over rosemary chicken and, yeah. and, then, and then leave it. And so, of course, I had to pry into it and essentially the dude offered to introduce me to God. Uh, this random dude or is he like your good friend? No, we'd been acquaintances. Just oh, acquaintances. Just, yeah, that just doesn't sound like a good friend. That sounds so like, crazy. You want, you want me, God? No, it sounds like he's about to kill you, honestly. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, well, there was a point in the conversation where I was sitting there like, whoo, I don't know how much further we want to go. I should probably but... run now. Yeah, yeah like, maybe up. I should get out of here. Straight up, yeah. Anyway, it was whack. But yeah, like we were saying, we want to go back to the warehouse because we think that it might have all started from there. Because I don't know if you knew this, but like Sam and I went there like when we were like 13, 14. We're always trying to find the like origin of all these like haunting experiences. And the warehouse is definitely the first creepy place we all ever went. For sure. So if you're so, down. It does kind of seem like the epicenter of all that. Yeah. Like, and if it is us, like let's say something is attached to us or like we're mediums or whatever, whatever it is. We can go there and like figure out like once and for all, like, what's actually happening? You down? Down in half, boys. And are you sure, like, is Mason cool with you just, like, leaving and hanging out with us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just gonna I'm say, like, Yeah, are you staying him for any reason or just to catch up with friends? Oh, in Kansas? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just here to chill, man. Oh, okay, okay, cool. cool. Yeah. yeah, man, let's freaking get it. It just seems all, like... Dude, like we come here for what, four or five days? We like, lose Jake, but then randomly Nate's in town, like. It's weird, dude, it's strange. The cosmic jigsaw puzzle, man. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. All right, guys, we just got back to my house. Back in the old room. <laughs> so sad, if you um are an OG Sam and Colby fan, you know where this room is. This is where we started our very first YouTube video. Very awkward videos back in the day. We just wanted to come talk to you guys and talk to each other a little bit for a second because we didn't even realize that this whole thing was affecting Nate too. He was basically saying after he met with us, things like started happening to him, like mm -hmm. haunted wise as well. Corey, he quit last time. Jake just quit on us last night saying it's too dangerous. Yep. His parents were worried about him. Tara was worried about him. Both of our parents are worried about us. Yeah, speaking like, of, like, I want to talk to them about that. What we're trying to say is that 
it's not only affecting like the friends that we recently made in LA, not recently, but you know, it's affecting like our lifetime long friends. I've met Nate when I was like in preschool. So yeah. I've known him forever and the fact that it's even affecting him and he said that it was after Hawaii when he saw us. So what if whoever we're talking to, whoever we come in contact to, we're affecting. Like we it have sucks. to figure this out. Yeah, like we need to do something. And that's what I'm saying is like, I think whatever happened way back when, Make Us Haunted started at the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So if we do some sort of cleanse there, if we, you know, figure out what could have made us haunted back there, maybe you know, it'll cleanse us completely. That's what I'm thinking. Because I, I love doing haunted stuff as long as, you know, it's like the place that's getting haunted and no innocent people, you know, are hurt. Yeah, the fact that we're like affecting our friends is what needs to change tonight. Yeah. And if it does change, I'm down to keep doing it. But if it doesn't change, then like we're just putting people in danger that we don't need to. Right, but if we do some sort of cleansing ritual tonight at the warehouse where we think everything started happening, maybe we'll be free once once for all. We gotta definitely figure out some sort of ritual to end everything. Obviously, like we've said in the past, you're the ritual guy, so just be thinking of one. I'm sure like we'll, we'll think of one eventually or we, we can look one up. Let's go at like sunset or something like that, but okay. we got a couple hours till then, so maybe we can figure something out. I can <sighs> look something up. I just... When it affects the friends, it's like, oh! That's when it sucks. That's when we have, we have to do something. Definitely. For some reason, like, Jake didn't want to come with us at all. He got a bunch of calls all day from Tara uh, saying, like, she was really worried. And um, even though his parents are out of town in England, they were calling him over and over and over again, saying, like, something like, they're worried that he's continuing doing this, which is weird because his parents have never really said anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, for some reason they started getting worried this time and then uh, after the whole paranormal investigation we did in Wichita the weird stuff happened at his house making him even like more weird and long story short something happened outside his house and he ended up tripping and falling I don't think anything happened because he always trips and falls it's Jake so through all these different things that were happening and, and him wanting to get back to film he said he didn't even want to go maybe we are kind of you know, pushing And Jake has never limits. ever shown any sign of like wanting to stop. And yeah, did. it just kind of got us worried and because everybody was worried about him. Yeah, we just want to kind of know your opinion. Like, do you, you guys watch all this stuff, right? Like, you can't be as worried as his parents. <laughs> yeah, we've been watching it since the beginning. I know you watch every minute of every video. Yeah, I watch everything. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the ones lately are scary. The, the one that shook me the most was this last one at the Witch's Forest with that baby thing. Oh, oh my man. god. That scared me and I, it scares me that you guys are still doing this now. Yeah. No, no, we still, honest to God, do not know what that thing was. We still think it's like a baby. I mean, I didn't even see it, so I, I don't yeah. even know if I believe you. That stuff scares me that you guys are still doing this. You know me, I'm, I'm game for anything. A few broken bones. Couple nights in jail, play around with the Ouija board, and have some fun. But some of the stuff you've been doing since around the Queen Mary time frame, and since then, it's uh, it spooks your mom and me quite a bit. Ever since Same with Queen no Queen Mary, it's been like pretty intense. Yeah. Ever since we stopped doing the abandoned stuff, and it's affecting everybody around us. <coughs> yeah. yeah, and now like Jake just left home, and we never thought he would say that yeah. in the video. Him out of everybody. Well, that's Nate. It reminds me. Uh, we were just cleaning out some closets the other day to get Allison moved up to Rochester and we ran across that old box you brought home that night. Uh, that, that old green box had a lock on it. I don't know if you ever found what was in it, but we pulled it out and kept it for you. Box. Box. Mine? Uh, you brought it home back when you guys were first going out doing stuff. It was way before you did, did social media. Back when you used to do the bonfires up Wait. on the hill out there and you'd explore the warehouse. Yeah, what well, I was yeah. I was with you, right? I don't know. The, like the do wait, yeah, we still have that? Guys, wait, wait, wait this about? is sick. Come wait, come here, come here, come here. What? What are you talking about? No, this is so crazy. Wait, you mean to tell me that you brought a box back from the warehouse and didn't tell us about it? No, I thought I did! I swear to god I told you guys. It's like um uh... Oh yeah, 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 here it is. Dude, shh, look at this, look at this. What? Isn't this the weirdest thing? What? This is, the, this is the first thing I ever brought back from the warehouse. You're a professional explorer, and you found a treasure chest? You didn't tell us about this? It's lo it's just a box, dude. No! I you brought it from the warehouse, you're not supposed to take anything it's from a haunted It's the box, place, What are you talking about? We, t we take things from haunted places all the time. Yeah, but like, this is different. This is the place that we think is the reason, like, we're being haunted. Nate. 
It's a mystery theme. I forgot about it completely because we came home, couldn't open it, and I was just like, whatever. And then my dad was like, I mean, you can keep the dual box if you want. And I was like, sure. Okay, but how could you forget about that? It's Locked been eight time. years. What are you talking about? We've been about? talking what am I about, about the warehouse about for it? eight. We've been to the warehouse four times since then. Like on camera and off camera 55 times. This is not a, a significant thing. What? Of course it is. Dude, this could be the reason why we're haunted. What do you mean it's not significant? You're telling me that a little tin box is the reason why we're haunted? Maybe. <laughs> you never know. Are you trashing on what the ghost chooses to haunt Yeah. Now? Come on. You know, this is the way you get haunted. You take something from the source and it latches onto you. It leeches, dude. It's like the the key, you know? It's like that brought this thing into you, wait, you know? You, wait, I actually didn't tell you guys about this. Because I thought you I thought you were there. Was that just with me and Mason? Dude, I would have remembered this and I would have like busted the heck out of it to fight. Because I want to know what's in it, dude. That is true. When I was like 13, I was like trying to pry this open with just my hands. We could probably break this. Easy. Let's do it. Okay, okay. Crazy wow. idea. Whatever's in there, what if that's what we need to burn? Like, you know how we did the fire ritual in Witch's Forest? Mm -hmm. You built, you burnt the Biltmore Key. Yeah, which is where it all started. No. What if it started way back before that? Like, way, way before then. And what we need to burn is in that box. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense? Right no, you're making perfect sense, dude. That's that like, a, yep, straight, you know what I mean? straight up a cult right there. I think that's the key. That's what I mean. We've been burning stuff, like, as a ritual to cleanse ourselves. But what if, like... We've been haunted this entire time. Like we need to burn something else. Wait, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know exactly what we need to do. We'll grab this. Okay. Actually, this is great. We. What time is it? We need. It's to get like sundown this. right now. Let's go to the warehouse. We gotta get there. Now. Let's go. Let's get in there real quick. The neighbors called the cops. It's a blast second. to be back here. Yo, oh, you remember that frog we found last time? <laughs> oh, dude, I bet he's got a whole frog family. I can't believe we're staying overnight again. It's like coming full circle. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. Bye sunset. We'll see you on the other side. Let's go. Alright guys, so the reason why we had to run is a lot of the neighborhood people call the cops on people that come back here and as you know, we don't have a great history with abandoned places. If a lot of you guys have not seen the warehouse videos we've done in the past, we used to go to this place all the time. Like this group went here every day. Like every, every single weekend, this is the place we hung out. This is the reason why we started exploring abandoned. This warehouse is where Everything started. What's crazy is the place that I found this box was called the murder room and not that many people know this story and I think we told it in our last video but the murder room is where obviously a lot of people have gotten murdered. All the time we used to see people get helicoptered out of this warehouse because they got killed in this specific room. That's where I found the box but we were never able to open it so like I didn't think it was that big of a deal. That's, that's the main area. What do you mean? We're going the wrong way. Are you sure? Yeah. This will lead up and around. I don't remember this path looking like this at Neither all. Neither do I. Oh God. Oh, that's where it starts. Gosh, dude, this place still gives me the creeps, man. You remember that feeling you got the first time we ever broke in here? Dude, that was gnarly. Yeah. This is it, guys. I think we may be doing it. Oh, oh my God. We just made it before sundown. This is gonna be horrifying. where it all started. What the hell is that? Did that thing just freak out? Oh! Dude, that thing just died in front of you. Yeah, it's freaking out right now. <laughs> all right, change of lights real quick. There we go. Damn, dude, this is so different. There used to be a big giant wall there with the window, remember? Oh my God, it got so destroyed. Jeez, dude, trees go up, building goes down. Yeah, dude, that reminds me. 
Like, we gotta be more careful this time because it's another, like, six years old. Dude, do you remember that hole in the roof over here that Colby almost fell out of? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that one. So you know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. They fly in your Hungry. ears. Guys, we finally came back to the band place. Aren't you proud? You guys feel heavier in here? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Was it just because we ate Chipotle? <laughs> Wow, what a cool idea. Wow, dude, this place is so different. Jeez, yeah, look how many more holes there are on the roof. Kobe, that was where you almost like took That's a tumble. Oh yeah, right, right there. Whoa. What was that? What is that? That, was, that sounded like, like a Whoa. machine that was on. Uh -huh. That's bullfrog. What about that? I don't know what that was. Okay. Let's find some sort of like a base camp. All right, wait, what were you saying about this? We, we turned the cameras off to put on bug spray because I was getting eaten alive. Yeah, you were being really mean to that horse fly. I'm just kidding, it was an asshole. <laughs> uh, dude, so the last time I was here, there was this artist, I think the name's Grant. On both sides of this wall, he did just incredible pieces. It looks like someone's come through and just totally destroyed it with graffiti and put a hole through it. That's unfortunate, man. It's, it's super unfortunate, but here's what's interesting, right? If we're supposing that this place is where we caught those, uh, those demons or ghosts at whatever. Yeah. Um, the verse Romans 8, 5 through 6 written up there goes, Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, but those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. And huh. Is it any surprise that whatever comes here has decided to put a hole directly through that message? Right through that message. That's up, yeah, man. that was messed up. Damn. I just can't believe we're back. And this this is 10 times worse than the first time we stayed. It's uh, so much more hot. It, <laughs> yeah, hot, oh, there's dude. bugs, we're more haunted, and we came here at eight. We have to stay so long. It feels I like know. it feels like the sound of someone smacking their food. I know. I hope I'm not allergic to that bug spray because I'm starting to itch everywhere. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh god. I just be trying out. You look greasy, dude. I look very greasy. I look like I was in a sauna for- I look Whoa. greasy. What was that? You guys heard that right? Dude! Remember last video? We'll put a clip in it, but doors started randomly slamming in the, in the middle room. of the night. In the murder room! In yeah. the murder room! There's another door over there. Oh! Oh my god! Dang it! What the fuck? Oh. Go, 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 go! Uh. Dude, the door just slammed in front of us. No. Go. Get, get, get. Oh, what, what the f was that? What? Yeah. No, and the bird was like trying to rape us. Oh, oh the bird gosh. almost yeah. killed us, actually. Okay. It's a scary bird. It's a scary bird. That was terrible. You ever died by a bird? Yeah. Pretty horrifying. I haven't died by a bird yet. Yet. Sure. Tonight's the night, mate. Bring it on, birds. <laughs> okay, you know what I do remember about this place? The noises. Yeah, we it just heard makes noises it absolutely horrifying. Every two seconds. Dude, this okay. place speaks, man. It's freaky. Dude, there was a massive wall right there and it got destroyed. Oh, yeah. You are so right. Gosh. Oh, what is that? What is that? Dude, I have no idea. What was that? It was the, uh, those wind things on top rotating. Are you 100% certain? Yeah, positive. Cause like, I freaked out so much that I turned off the camera and turned it back on. That's a lot of freaking out. That's a lot of freaking out. I mean, out. it's gonna show on the video. When you freak out, we film it. I'm trying to film it, but then I filmed it twice and it turned off. Dude, do you remember uh, she was a potato can? Was this yeah, the spot yeah. right here? Straight yeah. up, dude. Oh yeah, look. 
right here. Dude, we shot it that way at like a, like we said something was like Big Nick and we tried to kill it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we shot potato cannons. Thank God oh, we did that. I don't know if I even like this place. It's nostalgia, but during the night, it's kind of terrifying. Well, it's haunted. Do think I don't so? think we, I don't think we even said that. Like every single time we go here, something happens, right? Well, the, Last all those time. noises happen all the time. Dude, I still have like dreams about that. Yeah? Yeah, that's freaky, man. It is freaky. That was when you had that long, beautiful hair, Nate. What happened? Yeah, what happened, Nate? I went through an identity crisis. Bullfrog. Oh my god. Was that a bullfrog? Is that a bullfrog? Was a bullfrog. Okay. Was that somebody going, <gasps> <gasps> Yeah, let's say that's a ghost. <laughs> I hear that's the sound cows make when they make more cows. But cows are all female, so how would that happen, Nate? You're right. Hey, it's 2019. Those cows do whatever they want. Chill, chill. So what happened to your hair? I, I told you, I just got rid of it. Why? I liked do your hair. Do you want to do full on Ellen right now? <laughs> Should I grow my hair out? Hey, you want to race so you can get those to their nipples first? I haven't been able to grow facial hair for 22 <laughs> years, so I think you might win that. Oh, oh no way, dude! Look, look, look. What? Sam and Colby fans. No way. That's dude. sick. They oh, shit. Man. Dude. Dude, the, right where we did the video. Damn, that's awesome. I wonder if there's like more stuff about that. Because we filmed, what, like six videos here? <laughs> we did. I don't know, but dude, like graffiti wears off. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this might place, not be that many. I don't know. Who knows? That's crazy, though. That's Quack. awesome. Where was the place we found Jenga? Wasn't it in that, that corner over there or something? Uh, it was actually through that wall, so we got to go to the other side. Past the murder room? Yeah. I think we should go over there. Let's go back to, yeah, to our old base camp and then we'll be good. Woo. Oh, and there's the murder room. This, this is the murder room, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, oh dude, there's a pentagram on the door. No, there isn't. Yeah. Oh my God. Was that there last time? I don't know, probably. So this is where the door slammed and there was a bird in here that was the swooping us. door slammed like five times. And the reason why they call it the murder room, obviously the murder is, but there used to be red paint that said murder all over this room. Everywhere. But all right, let's let, not go in there. Yeah, let's save that for a later time. This feels like the home away from home. <laughs> yeah, the really decrepit kind of graveyard-esque home away from home. Dude, yeah. we sat here for like eight hours. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I swear to God. Uh, playing Jenga here? Yeah! That was the only thing to pass the time because we didn't want to kill our phones. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Alex! Where's the water I think this should be our home base. 100%. Hey. In nature, shut up. <laughs> oh, the places you will go. I really don't want to do this, honestly. 948. That's. <laughs> so, 10 o'clock, oh we my need God. Like, at least 8 hours. Eight hours, when sunrise. Yeah. Siri, when does the sunrise? Sunrise was at 5.55 a.m. today. Hey, okay, cool. So, so a little bit before six? Eight hours. Eight hours from now. We got this. All right, Sam. You were so adamant about getting here super fast, saying you knew what to do, so what do we need to do? I honestly think I know how to reverse this, but it's this thing called the moon ritual, and to do it right, we need to wait till it's 12 o'clock midnight. Did you just forget about that until you saw the box? Like, what made you remember? I have no clue. <laughs> you just, you just like, you just remembered randomly? Oh. You wanna cut that light? Yeah, what's, you have a light? You have a light. Dude, it's off, it's off. This light. Hey guys, what we need to do? Oh here. my god. Here, 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 here. Here, take this, take this.
Creepiest thing that's ever happened to us in our entire life. Dude, my arms. Standing in a circle, chanting, it's just weird. I mean, they could be doing something. Okay. We just, okay. Let's just hide out here for like, you know, 20 minutes and see if they leave or not. But the loud noises they're making, cops are gonna oh, come. That's right. Cops will come. definitely come, yeah. Yo, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna be because we're gonna be haunted for the rest of him forever. <laughs> yeah, we came here specifically to do that ritual, which we're about to explain. You know what this is, right? What? This is this is the energy of whatever's following us trying to stop us from getting rid of this thing. Dude, I just got f***ing chills. Yeah. Of course this would f***ing happen to us as soon as we're trying to get rid of our energy once and for all. Something comes in randomly and stops us. Yo, yo, yo. Is that a train? Wait. Train. Yo, we gotta get out of here. Run, 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 run. Oh. Go! Go, 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 go! Oh, 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 oh. Wait, Nate! 
You kept running, I didn't see you. I thought you got ran over. Yeah, dude, we <laughs> thought you died. I didn't know we stopped running. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, did you see the way when it was coming around the corner? How the rails like lit on fire? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. dude. It goes on forever. <laughs> Oh my god! Dude! No, no, don't touch it. Oh god. My god. That was horrible. I've never experienced. I've. N Dude. That was so close. We almost. We weren't. That came around that so fast. I did not see that at all. It didn't even blow its horn before it got here. It was just like on us immediately. Oh! <gasps> Let me turn off lights again. Right, guys so we've been here for like what 30 45 minutes something like it just waiting um haven't heard any more explosions go off haven't heard any people in there so i think we're just gonna go and check it out again but uh what were you saying about the train you mean that that's like there's something trying to stop us from doing this reverse seance yeah we started talking about the moon ritual which we'll get into in a second we ran out and then the train blocked our path to get back Dude, to the warehouse as like, soon as we tried to start the moon ritual oh, yeah something Man. stopped us and then as when soon as like thing... we were, thought we were safe the train happened when that thing hurtled by man it was like standing next to Haley's comet too just that was, sick. that was incredible. All right, let's go check if we're good to do this ritual. It is almost midnight. Should we do what that other group was doing and do a giant satanic choir song so that everyone else inside is scared? Um, anyone know any Billy Eilish songs? <laughs> you're mine. You're He's in the frog. Oh, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Guys, yeah, don't step on the frog. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Nice. Stephen. Stephen! Oh, look at him! He's adorable! Oh, he's he's probably terrified. He's, Dude, like, he's oh, probably peeing in your hand, bro. He's like, this is how I die. <laughs> Bye, Stephen! Oh, he did f***ing pee in my hand. God. Right. What's he gonna tell Bye -bye. his friends? Like, guys, I got picked up by God and pissed on him. <laughs> God, what the... What? Jeez. What? what? Slammed in my ear as soon as we got close. Is that energy, dude? Okay. So... I don't think we should call out like you usually do. Okay, I won't call out. But I think we should go to the point where they were blowing stuff up. Did you notice that after the train passed, they vanished? Yeah, it was like the train hit and they instantly like, like we like never heard any Yeah, I didn't hear another sound. Now there's no one here. Yeah, we didn't hear anybody for the next 30 minutes. That's why we're coming back in here. I'm gonna try to turn this up a little bit so you guys can see. This is what it looks like. All right, so I'm pretty sure what they did is in this main room. They blew something up. We were sitting right there watching them right here. Yo, I know what they did. <laughs> Blew up a watermelon. That's so sad. Why would it sell the watermelon? It smells good though. It does smell good. Really jolly rancher commercial. <laughs> I don't know why that group did that and why they were singing while they were doing it. That's just the weird part. <laughs> you know how they would sacrifice animals to pagan gods? Yeah. Maybe they're sacrificing fruit to vegan gods. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out California. Kind of looks like it's clear. I think just to get things over with, let's go back to the murder room and do this moon ritual before anything else tries to stop us. Why the murder room? Because that's where I found the box originally. It, it I still to can't be. believe you didn't tell us about it. I thought I did. I had to have. You guys just must have not remembered. Do you remember? I don't think you ever told me about that. Ever. All right, guys. So we're coming back to where we were sitting when the random cult-like choir came in because we forgot a light. That would have been a dead giveaway if they came out here that someone broke in here, you know? <laughs> They're like, hmm, a random flashlight that looks perfectly unused. Dude, this is the one I couldn't turn off to and they were like right there and I was like, ah! Dude, they were literally right there. Can't believe we got away. That's insane. Nate? Why is your name right there? Oh my gosh. 
Nate's here too. Sam and Colby and Nate, all in oh red. Oh my god! All in red. Wait. Oh, I thought you said you saw Sam Colby on this wall too. No, yeah, I said uh, Sam Colby from the other side and then me oh, on this. Dude, yeah, what the hell? Not to be that guy, but let's do this memory show before any other random cult comes, you know? Into the murder room we go. Satanic symbols already happening. Dude, it's crazy. When we were in danger last time, we ran that way out of the murder room into the roof. When we were in danger this time, we ran into the murder room and out. That way. That's where the doors land. I hate this room. Just think about this. Somewhere in this room, like multiple people have died and had to be helicoptered out. And got bodies. like raped and stuff. Like there's been a lot of bad crimes in this room. Yeah, this is not the place to do it. Let's talk about the moon ritual. So, oh yeah, yeah, what, what's that all about? So the moon ritual, here. That graffiti says you should have died. It's like it's talking to us. I was gonna say, dude. <laughs> Say that. I'm just saying. Whatever dark energy that's attached to us, this is like its subconscious mind, and we've wandered into it. And these are the things that it imagines. Like Ooh. his walls are synaptic, man. That's so freaky. Yeah. I, I don't know what that word means. Right, I'm just gonna start dumping all my stuff out here. But you know how in Witch's Forest, the witch was talking to us about um, living by the moon cycles. Yeah. The moon cycles so far. Like what we're experiencing right now is like a half crescent moon. And mm -hmm. so it, it's going towards a new moon, which is symbolizing a rebirth. So again, some new chapter in our lives, again. The death card. The death card. If we do this right, we can surround all the elements of the earth. So earth, wind, fire, water. Like Avatar. Yeah. I want to be the airbender. <laughs> <laughs> and so we can put the box down there and if that is what is haunting us, it should have a rebirth of that box. And thus, if we have it back here, we aren't gonna be attached to it. Little green demon womb. So how do, um, uh, how do we know that it's over? Like, the, when whoa. the moon is, everything gets so quiet. It got so quiet. That's so weird. Dude, all the bugs don't get like the same time. Okay, so how we know it's completely done yeah. is, you know, when you can't see the moon anymore. So once it hits sunrise, okay. so we should be fine. We just need to. Stay we just gotta do this. We just gotta do this at midnight, and then once once the moon's over with, it should be rebirthed, and we should not have anything on us. Cool. All in your lead. Cool. All right, you want to put the box down right here? Dude. Dude. What? Look. Holy sh! No, 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 no. no. Look at that. Did you even see that before? I've never seen that, no. What the Nate, fuck? Nate, you scratch that in while we're No, dude, wouldn't I have time to do that, running from the train? Here, Nate, shine your flashlight like right there. Yeah, there you go. What the fuck? Wow. You, you swear you never saw that before? Like, when dude, you guys no. the first time? Dude, Whoa. this is, this is f***ed up, man. This is so messed up. Well, actually, I probably, actually, we weren't scared of that stuff back then. Maybe I did see it, I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. You know? Yeah. I didn't really know what it meant. Oh no, man. But let's, let's do this, so. But that like just proves that it's evil, I don't know. Okay. I have this note from the very first episode of this series. We can use the rocks and these stones. He said there's protection stones. Yes. So we can put the stones around and that can be earth. Salt, put that around. Bug spray, we can put that around. Ooh. What is this? That is, um, it's like a perfume oil thing that will like protect us. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. If you can open that, we're gonna rub that on us a little bit. We're just gonna rub it on each other? <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm in the middle of like an OxyClean commercial, like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> look, it's Billy Mays back from the dead here. Oh no. <laughs> if you've got a legion of demons trying to ruin your existence, just rub some of this sh all just over your- Jack off with it, it helps too. <laughs> oh, you really? It smells kind of like tangerine. Actually, you can kind of see it. Like, You're about to film a seance or a porno. Ooh, we're protected. Let's protect over there a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. There's that. We got everything. 
set up, the salt right. circles around here. So yeah, we put a, a bunch of protective methods out there as you guys saw. We have fire, we have earth, we have water, we have air around us. Just to specify what we're cleansing, we actually have a picture out here. If that's not enough, just for us all being here, these are the four people that we usually have in our group that always got here and were haunted. So we're gonna put this down to hopefully bless us too. And what are we supposed to say, something specific? Or so not? yeah, there's like an invocation that we all hold hands and say, um, the same thing three times and then after we do that all we have to do is wait till the sun and then if this place If this thing was actually haunted the box then it, it shouldn't be haunting us anymore It should be going back to its old place. It's okay. rebirthing through the moons. Sounds good. I wish we could open it and find out what's actually inside, but that'd be sick Whatever. Join hands. Mm. So all together. I'm gonna say the Invocation you guys are gonna be saying free us from the spirits harming us. How many right? times? Three. All right. Ready? Let's get it done fast. The train's coming. We invoke fire, wind, water, and earth. Free, Free us, us from, from the spirits that are harming us. us. Free us from, from the spirits that are harming us. Free us! Oh, oh, go! 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 What the fuck was that? Does that mean we didn't finish the ritual? Did that, did whatever just happened stop us again? On the last thing. On the last words, it stopped us again. Let's go back now. That's totally, we gotta go back. Let's go back now. Let's go. This is gonna end it once for all. Yo. Yo, yo. Yeah. You're back. I mean, it's your back. Wait, lift up your back. Oh, bruh. The f okay. Did you put that there? No. What the f was that? What do you mean, what the f is that? Look at my hand. Oh, man, look at your side. Jesus Wait. Jesus Christ. Nate. This right here is this girl named Jennifer's Key. Mm. How the f is that possible? Oh, so do you think <sighs> it wasn't? I checked. I 100% checked, like fully you twice. They didn't check like good enough. You think that just fell out of the backpack? Yes. How? How would it? Oh, dude, seriously, I lost this a month ago. I've used that backpack like five times. Oh, how? Dude, then, no. well, are you sure it was like deep down in a pocket? You were just emptying it all out. Are you sure? I know. Not about this, dude. No way. That that energy moving through our shit like none other. I mean, okay. I don't mean to sound crazy, but yeah, you are crazy. Imagine if this key were to open that box out of some random. Dude, freak. there's no way. There's no way. That wouldn't make any sense. But why is it here? Where'd you get this? What do you mean why it's here? You left it in the backpack. Let's just try it. Was it. Lodged way down. No, um, it's not. Good. No, uh, that's just stupid. That would've been sick. That was honestly, y'all, our fire's going out. We should probably get this seance done. I just want to know what's in that box. Let's open. How? Put it on the ground. Nah, we don't want to. If something say we don't want to. Just throw it. Honestly, I feel like I don't think. All right. What? Throw it. No, I'm. You said, no, if you. There you go. Wait, what the f There you go. Wait, wait. Turn that back. So you need to do. You actually cracked it. What what threw what flew off? Dude! What? Look! What, what the f is that? What? Did that come out of there? I don't know. Something metal. You heard that on the camera. What the f is that? What the f is that? You can you can open it. Oh uh, it's almost there. There's there's a bunch of rocks. Oh, what, what the fuck? Is that a bullet? Is there anything else in here? Oh, you shake it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? 
There's something. Wait, wait, there's something big in here. Oh, f it's almost out. Here. Can I grab it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, grab what that. The, grab oh, that. What is that? Got it, you got it. Dude. There's nothing else. Look at this. My, I'm literally shaking. Nor. Norel. It's a mirror. Oh my god. Look at my. What did you? You have the other thing that was in there? It's it's over here. What, what does that even mean? Well, I was, what does that mean, dude? Is that actually a bullet, or is that something stupid? I don't know. What is what is that? Nate, do you know what? It looks like a bullet. bullet? Uh, oh, let me see it. Dude, I'm shaking too. And it's cracked on this Dirty side mirror. and that side. What is this? Like a dagger? That looks like it might be a letter opener. This? Oh, that yeah. would make sense. It's not like a dagger. Look at the sides. Remarkable though. Like, what what does that mean? But yeah. What? Why would you what need another? What letter do we need to open is, is the question I'm asking. Or what letter did this open previously yeah. that that guy just shoved in a lockbox and threw in a random, yeah. you know, abandoned And why warehouse. would he put a mirror in there too? I, I'm trying to connect my own dots here, so call me a little bit crazy, but we've been saying it's us the entire series, and what tells you it's us more than a mirror pointing back at your face? <laughs> I mean, what, I, if, wh what? what if that's the reason we're being haunted? What do you mean? Because you took that box. And it had a mirror in there, implying that it was us the entire time. We need to leave this here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely leaving this here. But I'm just saying, like that could be like the answer. So, if we quote unquote rebirth this when the moon ends tonight, leave it all here, maybe, just maybe, that would end this. Or at least end where we started at the warehouse. We need to finish the ritual. One last time, say it three times, make sure we all say it without anything happening like that. We gotta put all these objects in there too. Let's do this before we have no no more fire. Okay, let's do it. Let's just get this over with. We got the box, we got the two things that were inside of it. One last time. We invoke fire, earth, wind, and water. Free, Free us, us from, from the spirits, spirits that, that are harming us. us. Free us from the spirits that are harming us. Free us from the spirits that are harming us. Everything about this whole thing like just came so full circle, you know? Like this is where everything always began and we finally like were successful in a ritual for the first time ever. Yeah, I mean I hope. We still don't know, right? It feels like there's some sort of weight that was lifted off my shoulders, but I don't know, it just could be because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, and like coming back to Kansas always like resets things. Yeah. But just this has been like a crazy like journey. Even back at the Stanley, yeah, much less even like way back at Queen Mary, it's like when we first started getting into paranormal stuff, it's like, <sighs> we're honestly just doing that for the entertainment, you know, as part of like exploring. But dude, it's like affected our lives so much. Like took us all the way back here to a place like we never thought we'd go again. <laughs> Not even like just affecting us though, it's like affecting like our whole friend group. And surprisingly, even like Nate, yeah, speaking of guys, big thanks to Nate. Yeah. Everyone go show him some love because he actually helped out so I much. Go well, let's go home, man. He has a, an Instagram if you want to go follow it. You should do that. Keep up with him. The second half of this video is going to be back in Los Angeles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in our lives and how this like really affects us because we want you guys to know whether or not this worked or not. It's definitely not over. We're gonna go meet up with Jake and Corey again. Corey seems like he's ready. Jake needs a little bit of convincing, but we'll go talk to him right now. And I think after this, I'm feeling, I'm feeling more ready than this. I ever have, yeah. Yeah, it's just so interesting. I feel like we just started scratching the surface of what we possibly could find, you know? Right. We just learned it the hard way. I just hope it worked and we're actually Good. <laughs> See you guys.
see you back in LA. Exactly. Yesterday, it had been a month since we got back from Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City, Kansas, our hometown guys, and guess what? We're feeling better than ever. We think it worked. So we've been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of traveling, and honestly, not that much has been scary. No, not at all. I used to hear things talking to me at night. Don't hear those anymore. Do you want to talk about that? We're all jokes aside, like I haven't, like, like nothing's happened. It's to me so this past weird, month. cause like for the last two years, like we always have things like happen, like yeah. every couple of weeks. It's like, oh yeah, you're still haunted. Right. Not gonna let you forget that. But yeah, so we decided to call up Corey and Jake to talk about the next step, like what we want to go for, cause you know Jake had quit yeah. earlier this season. We'll get him back though. Corey had quit earlier this season, but he gave us a call and said he wanted to talk about it. So we invited him over. They're coming over in about five minutes and then I'm gonna see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's time to take it. Or <laughs> what are you trying to take? Maybe it's time to step it up a notch. That was a really good, a really good <laughs> movie face. All right, cool. Let's go talk to him. Hey! <laughs> You we, might be wondering cool. why we came here. Yeah. Hey, okay. So, might be wondering why we came here today. We got some good news, brothers. What is it? I don't think we're haunted anymore. We oh, did this. Bullshit. We went to bullshit. Kansas. Bullshit, see? The f was that? What was that? But in all seriousness, we went to the very first haunted place we ever went to, even before social media, the warehouse. Mm -hmm. We did this ritual. We did it correctly, and it actually like worked. We've been testing it this last month, and we haven't filmed anything scary for a month, but nothing paranormal has happened to us. For a month, nothing's happened to you? After we went to the warehouse. Like, I think we finally ended it. As soon as we it. did the ritual at the warehouse, we're, we've been good. Wait, so... Okay, actually, just kidding. How does that unhaunt me and Corey? Because we were the ones that were bringing the hauntedness to the places. True. Oh. The psychic, the paranormal investigator, and the witch all said it started because we brought you on these things. So you did a ritual that made you unhaunted? Yes, sir. It's called the moon ritual. You know how fire ritual we burned random objects to yeah. like cleanse ourselves? Those are the wrong objects. Right. It didn't start at the Biltmore, it didn't start at Queen Mary. It started with us like eight years ago. You had to burn what first haunt you? Yeah, way, way back when to get rid of it. We that. got haunted because he Dang. took something from the haunted place. And we put it back. So does this mean that you're not doing rituals and all that stuff anymore that could get you re-haunted? Mm -hmm. Well... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, uh, what we're trying to say is I, we think we know how to unhaunt ourselves if we were to get haunted again. You're just gonna start burning everything. Yeah. yeah. Yes. When you're yeah. haunted, just burn things. We have to burn the door. <laughs> That's why we came here today. It's like, we're like, guys, if we're gonna do this, we definitely don't want to go bigger unless we have the full group back. Yeah. And I know we've been back and forth a lot, but like you said on the phone, Corey, like a month ago, you said you were down. I'm I maybe come back. I'm still down. So what you guys just told me <laughs> does make me feel more comfortable now. Like knowing that you did something to like, get clean or like get something off of you. Yeah. It just scares me still what we might end up doing because it's always some crazy shit. You said something about you want to go bigger. And so now we're here to say, do you guys actually want to go bigger? Like hitting like the most haunted places in the world. I thought we're, no, <laughs> we're not do that already. Right? Bro, like I'm, I'm so used to going to like basements or just like houses, bro. You guys like to go to castles. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we might have gone to the most haunted places in the United States. But the world. But we haven't been to the We take it international. In the whole world. Like, imagine that. Those videos would be crazy. We're gonna get haunted by a British ghost. Hey, <laughs> hey, matey! I'm fine! <laughs> 
Boo! <laughs> Boo! Brother! Brother! Every night we're sleeping. Brother! <laughs> Can you promise us that we won't be f***ed by demons? Like literally or? Like, like. Both, yeah. Have you ever been f***ed by a demon before? Uh, wait, have I? So you're down, you're down, you're not yeah, gonna bro. get f I'm, I'm down, bro. All right, international, I'm brother. I'm down. International, I'm down. brother. We got the group back brother. together. Ima imagine the footage, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, bro, like, we're gonna get some shit. That's what I'm yeah. saying. The key. What's the key for? Do we want a car? <laughs> You're gonna win a car. Are we getting a car to go on these investigations? Yeah. You know what? I will get you a car if you come to International. What was the key though? You just put that away pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, no, we this is really weird. This is weird. <laughs> so weird. No, nothing, dude. <laughs> we want to tell the viewers and sit you guys down today and say, are we back? Then we're splitting up. We're gonna go in this together. Unhaunted this time. We're back. Wait, Ow. let's do this. Ow. Let's do oh, this. Yeah. All right, guys. Time to go international. Three, two. Yeah! yeah.